and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against the Atlanta Braves. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about to get started and going for Atlanta, Bryce Elder. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that Leave can keep a right good right tempo, right. don't give he hitters time to adjust or think. Yeah. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball, Olsen. He handles it himself. Oh. One up, one down. Batting second. The short shot. Tim Anderson. Here's Tim Anderson. And a good eye there. That's in there. And a count one and one. You know, Boog, I can relate to Tim Anderson with my football background and baseball background. He played Little League Baseball, but then decided to focus on basketball until he got hurt his sophomore year of high school. He then went back to baseball as a junior. Four years later, the White Sox made him a first-round draft pick. Tim made a good choice. Yes, he did. Here's a one-two. That ball is foul. And that's downstairs and outside. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Luis Robert stands in now and watches strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Just off the outside part of the plate. That misses. Two balls and a strike. The wind of the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Two down, nobody on. On a line, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. Everything came together for him. Solid double down the line, and that was a pretty decent pitch that he just turned on. Not really out over the plate. It was inside, but he was more than ready to get that bat through the zone. Eloy Jimenez now. Ball one, no strikes. Well, a really good chance right here to pick up a run in the top of the first after what seemed to be a, a real quiet start to the inning. The pitch. And that is cut on and missed. One ball, one and a count one and one. That one missed. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. 
Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So a man left for the White Sox, and now the Braves, with their first chance to hit, were scoreless. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Atlanta, and today's starting pitcher, Lucas Giolito. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Ronald Acuna Jr. in the box now. No balls and a strike. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. There's a strike. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. The 1 1 is fouled off. One and two now on Acuna. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Righty to the plate. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. It's a good take. Two two now. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. One down, base is empty. And strike two. The next offering misses. One and two to count. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. The 1-2. And yeah, the 1 2 misses to even the count. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Here's a 2 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. The punch out there, two gone. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Here's Austin Riley. In there for strike one. Austin Riley, a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League. Chris, he's got big time power. Two outs. He's got power, and he's also been able to develop the glove defensively. Another guy that Ron Washington's helped go to the next level. Now he doesn't have to worry about making mistakes defensively, and he can have better at bats because of it. And a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one two 
fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Next offering is fouled back. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball oh. hard somewhere. That misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And now the count filled up three and two. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Hot shot to third. Gets it to first. And that is that. Down in order go the Braves. Scoreless after one. Back here at the ballpark. Maybe New inning getting place. started. Andrew That's Vaughn now. He's looking to hit the Andrew ball the other way in 99% of his at bats. But if you make a mistake middle in, he can touch you up for a four bagger. And the pitch. And that nope. one just misses a ball and no strikes. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. He went around, says Rusty Valentine. And the righty deals. And misses inside. The pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And a 3 2. Got him looking. Now there's one away. And up next for Chicago, Jake Berger. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. And that one fouled off. Falling behind two and one. Gets him to chase after that one. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. No score here in the second. Swing and a pop up. Arcia under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. That is, that is the right field here. Oscar. So up next for Chicago, number 22. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just off the inside edge. And a pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's two and one. Good eye in that spot. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Sebi Zavala. And first offering is fouled off. Let's get it going, 
The pitch. Swings through that one. Good eye right there. The next pitch misses. Two and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Two-two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That ends the frame. The White Sox leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second, and now Matt Olson up to hit. The first base. Matt Olson, a guy who grew up in the Atlanta area, went to the same high school that produced Jeff Francoeur, and in fact, Jeff's mom was one of Matt Olson's teachers in grade school. The wind and the pitch. That's in there, and it's 0-1. When Olson was traded to the Braves from the Oakland A's, Francoeur's mom texted Brian Snicker and said, you're going to love Matt Olson." That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. And the pitch. He goes down looking. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Travis Dardo, batting with one down, takes a strike. Late swing fouled off. The 0 2. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Here's Marcelo Zuna. In there and it's 0 1. Right side, hard hit. He steps on the bag, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves. Braves go down quickly here. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. Here's Elvis Andrews. The wide to kick the pitch. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. No ball. Swing and a miss. 0-2 now. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Kicks and deals. Two ball, two strikes. And he grounds one to the right side. Albies over to first in time. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Zach Remillard steps to the plate for the White Sox. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. 
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing and one. Remillard goes six foot one, 29 years old, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. That one drifts inside. You know, Boog, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. And now it's even up. Next pitch misses outside. And that's ball three. Struck him out looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Now it's going to be Tim Anderson. Nope. That misses the zone. 1-0. A moment everyone thinks of with Tim Anderson is the walk-off homer he hit in the inaugural Field of Dreams game in 2021. That felt like a movie. Yeah, and it was a movie that Tim Anderson had never seen. Ball two. That one off the mark, ball two. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, the head 2-0 has put himself in a really good spot. Top of the third, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a ball popped up, and it stays fair. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And now it's Luis Robert. Robert getting the start in center, hitting third in the lineup, and he was born in Cuba. Anderson off of first with two away. Anderson runs. Back to the mound, it hit him. Over to first, and they take care of Robert for the out. That's out number three. So a man left for the White Sox, and we're still knotted at zero. Back at Truist Park, and here's the veteran outfielder, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Berger flashes the leather on the run and catch. Batting in. The shortstop. Orlando. Arcia. Here's Orlando Arcia. You know, we talk so much about how guys prepare for a start. For Giolito, one of the things that's really cool, he actually uses scouting reports and then plays MLB the show to execute how he's going to go about attacking hitters. The 0-1. So the night before his start, he effectively goes over the lineup he anticipates he's going to face and plays the game. So he goes through an entire opposing lineup on MLB The Show, utilizing his own scouting report the team provided. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. For Giolito, it actually is an idea that kind of came together with his buddy Max Freed. They played together in high school in Los Angeles. And they're not sure who started at first, but in 2019, they each began to go over scouting reports using MLB The Show. Next offering misses, 
And now three and one. Lined, and that's a base hit. The right fielder, number 13. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Let off the game with a strikeout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throws. Save. That's a stolen base. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. That's off the mark. And the count even one and one. One and one. Hard ground ball, base knock. Harris, around third. He will score, and it's 1-0. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. Down the middle for a strike. Going one. Singy, this guy, Ozzie Albies, he is Mr. Personality. So much flair and that giant smile on the field. Runner, Runner on the goal. Going. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. He's safe. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. The 0-2. And ball one. Ball. one. For me, one of the things I really enjoy is just the banter that he has with third base coach Ron Washington, who's helped him tremendously defensively at second base. The 1-1 is fouled off. Runner at second, two down. Bounce to the right side. Andrews sends it to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Out of the fourth, here's Aloy Jimenez. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It got? starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That's off the mark. One ball, one strike. One ball, you know, one these White Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing ball, outside of the strike, strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. That one fouled off two and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Kicks and fires. And he walked him. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And next to hit for the Sox, Andrew Vaughn. Caught looking his first time up. Slider clips the zone. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. That one finds a corner. And that is strike two. Oh, 
in the dirt but kept close throw to second not in time he's there easily Jimenez into scoring position on the wild pitch and there goes the double play possibility definitely trying to work down and get that double play ball but it got away enough to erase any chance of that good job of moving up into scoring position now a hit could make that wild pitch really sting the one two fly ball to right pulls it down and he makes the catch and there's one down yeah that was a wasted RBI opportunity but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox 0 for 1 with a fly out oh, look out here he's going to come up ready to swing in this situation that one's in there 0 and 1 Jimenez, the runner at second with one away. Out to short, Arcia. Slings it across. That's it out. Up next for the White Sox. And up next for Chicago, number 22. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Misses outside, and that is ball one. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Account. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next offering is down low. Three and two down. Sebi Zavala up next. Three two on the way. Fights it off. You'll see another. Three, two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now the third baseman, Austin Wright. The right-hander back to work. He's a good high school football player, oh, Austin O'Reilly. But you look at the build, you think quarterback, think maybe even linebacker. No, he's a punter. Next off, bring in the dirt. And it's one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two now, strikes, now, now. slider the down and away from a same side yeah. thrower as the hitter. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Olsen batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Shot back to the mound, and he gloves it. Throws the first, and Olsen is set down. Up next for Atlanta, the catcher, Travis. Two outs, base is empty. Travis Darno, next up for the Braves. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and a foul straight back. Well, Boog, you remember back in 2020, Lucas Giolito threw that no-hitter against the Pirates. He struck out 13, and the only base runner he allowed was on a walk in the fourth inning. I tell you what, if I was on the Pirates, he'd have had a perfect game. <laughs> <laughs> Get 
just off the inside edge. Check swing. No appeal. Now three and one. Really good check swing right there. So difficult to hold off on the slider from a same side thrower. Very difficult to pick up the release point. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch, not close. And that's outside. Swing and a miss. And a count two and one. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One left for Atlanta, but they still lead it 1 0. Back here in Atlanta, Leading ready now Mike for the fifth Mike. inning. Now the here is Sevi Zavala. <laughs> the pitch. In there at the knees, and that's strike one. The pitch. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Excellent arm action on that two-strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. And out number one on the grab. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Elvis Andrews steps to the plate for the White Sox. First pitch, and he just misses. All one, no play. On the ground, right side, and it stays fair. The bat. He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. And now the DH, Zach Remillard. Strike one. Oh, one to count. Andrews, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. On the ground, two ball. Arcia over to Albies, and that's two. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. Giolito back to work. And there's a foul ball. And he deals. 
That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Just a hammer. 12-6 curveball right there, bro. That was exactly what he wanted to do with it. Not a ton of pitchers can throw a true 12-6 break, but he does. And you can't throw it any better than he did right there. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. The other way, and it's caught for the out. Now back, the center field. And the batter now, Michael Harris. Singled and scored his first time. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And first offering is fouled off. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball. Oh, he gloves it. That one was ticketed for the gap, but couldn't get through security. Great job there of leaping, making the catch, and ending the inning. Top of the sixth inning. Leading now the number right two now. hitter, Tim the Anderson. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial oh, gold lover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. And that's in for a strike. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Luis Robert now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Ball to strike. Bounced out to short. Arcia. Jump, bro. Throw save. And that was close. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop could even make that play. One gone runner at first. Now the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. First offering misses the mark. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. And the 1 0. That's inside. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Breaking ball inside. And now 3 0. Andrew Vaughn in the on deck circle. Robert leads off first with one away. That's in there. That's strike one. Slapped foul with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here over to first and he saved yeah. on the ground could be two Albies in plenty of time to first and they take care of Jimenez for the out 
Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Next to hit, Andrew Vaughn. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. Nick Anderson getting ready to go. Minter getting loose as well. Man at second. And it's one and one. The one one is fouled off. And a one two. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And he grabs it in foul ground. Man on second two down. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Robert on his way around third. Safe. He beats it. It's 1-1. One, one. Really nice job of two-strike hitting in that at bat. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. One's in the cage. You're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Bryce Elder won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. New pitcher now, number 71. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Number 71. So up next for Chicago, Jake Berger. And that's in there for strike one. And a base hit into right center field. Vaughn, round second on his way to third. All these with a relay throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Go ahead, run on base. Number 22 steps to the plate for the White Sox. A strikeout and a walk. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Drops into the glove. And that is the third out of the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even at one apiece. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom of the six. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. The right if you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Giolito back to work. That's a strike. 0-1. So, Boog, you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh, Siggy, I dig it. The Braves base color is red and blue, but he adds the yellow. It kind of represents the Venezuelan flag, the country that he hails from. Acuna started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Got him. Rusty Valentine rings him up. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. 
Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. That one misses, and that's ball one. Albies, 26 years old, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. And here it comes. Edge of the zone for a strike. And one and one. Now with the shift on, hits right into it. On the run, sends it over to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Now third baseman. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. That one drilled left field. This one's got a chance. Makes the catch up against the wall. Braves are set down 1-2-3. Score remains tied 1-1. One, one. Back at Truist Park. And here's the catcher, Sebi Zavala. Sebi Zavala. Here comes a pitch. And that's outside. You know, these White Sox digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one down. Elvis Andrews steps to the plate for the White Sox. Ball one, no strikes. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. That one's in there. That's strike one. And the right-hander deals. And that's outside. Two and two. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. High fly ball, right field. Acuna there. Two down. The bat. The designated hitter. Here's the White Sox DH, Remillard. Zach Remillard. Yes. There's a strike. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Two outs. One and one. And a count one and two. The pitch. Uh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here 2 2 he's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat so might have it timed up and ready for it spoils that one and it remains two and two really great change of speeds he goes off the off speed to the fastball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next the 2 2 on the way on a line out towards center. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the White Sox. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. Welcome back, and here's the first baseman, Matt Olson.
And the pitch. And that's through there for a strike. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Brian Shaw up and throwing. Banks warming up as well. The 0-2. One ball, two strikes. And now two and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And that just misses. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Got it by him for the K. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher off. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Popped up. Vaughn sizing this one up. Hauls it in to away. Now the designated hitter. Marcel. Now at the plate, Marcelo Zuna. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. The one, two. Stays alive. The wide, the kick, and the one, two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The one-two. Knocks it down. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. Now the Braves go down quietly. Score remains deadlocked at one. Welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play, Tim Anderson. The right hander back to work. On the ground, Albies. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And next to hit for the Sox, Luis Robert. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Misses inside, and it's 1-0. Swing and a miss. Strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Oh, 
Next offering is in for a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And a one two. Right side. Olsen handles the chance. He takes it on his own. And a couple of quick outs. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Aloy Jimenez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. And the first pitch misses for ball one. just oh, missed. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. And a foul ball. Next one misses three and one. Andrew Vaughn in the on deck circle for the White Sox. Right handed reliever. Fouled off left side. And the righty deals. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. In there, and it's 0 and 1. That misses off the outside edge. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Down the line, and it's foul. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Rosario brings it in for the third out. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tanner Banks. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Now in for the Braves, Eddie Rosario. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And the pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Zavala squeezes it, and there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit in the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. Orlando Arcia, next up for the Braves. And there's a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. And delivers outside. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Ryan Shaw getting loose out there. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Hey. One ball, two strikes. That one just misses. 
That's a really good take. Next pitch just misses. And now three and two. Michael Harris waiting for a turn at the plate. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Three, two. Ground ball left side. And that's just foul. And a pitch. And there's ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So now pinch hitter for Atlanta, Charlie Culberson. Runner on first with one down for him. You're Making a move to first. Good. Pinch running He's here. Good. Sam Hillier. Number 14. Sam Hillier. Step off throw to first. Hillier back in on the dive. And a base hit right there. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Not in time. He's safe. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came through for his club right there. So the batting order turns over. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. And that's in for a strike. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Vaughn makes the play, and there are two down. The batter, number one, second baseman, Ozzy. Albies. Digging in, Ozzie Albies. A switch hitter batting right. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. First offering misses the mark. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. At the belt and fires. At the belt. And that's ball four. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. Ball one there. Hilliard on third. Culberson over at second. Albies on at first with two down. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. And the Braves will strand three. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Now into the ball game on defense, Sean Murphy. He's in at shortstop. 
Now also Pillar. entering the game, Kevin Pillar. And man, they're asking a lot of him to play completely out of position. Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox. The pitch. There's a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Off the plate, and it's a ball and a strike. And that misses off the outside edge. pitch hammer and this one could be extra bases in safely with a leadoff double go ahead runs in scoring position oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way didn't get jumpy didn't try to pull the ball he let it get deep took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game Runner in scoring position, no outs. So up next for Chicago, number 22. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and deals. Swung on, belted. That's back. Caught just shy of the wall. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Sebi Zavala steps to the plate for the White Sox. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. It's be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. The 0 1. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Caught him looking for the K. Well, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. Here's the second baseman, Elvis Andrews. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. And there's a ball. Two down, go ahead, run at scoring position. Swing and a miss. Now two and one. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2 0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Now all leave it up. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam.
Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Brian Shaw, he's making his fourth appearance of the season. Here's Matt Olson. Leading up for the Braves. The first baseman, Matt Olson. Here comes a pitch. And a curve drops in for a strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And he deals. And he grounds one back up the middle. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. No outs. Runner at first. And now, Travis Darno. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. First offering, and it just misses. Righty delivers. That's bolted. Way to lay off that pitch down. Right-hander kicks deals. That's in for a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. There's a strike up high. And the count is even two and two. Winning run on base at first, no outs. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Payoff pitch on the ground, and that's a fair ball. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Here comes the runner. In comes the winning run, and they walk it off. Well, it's always great when you've got pretty good speed over there at first base. Somebody that can score all the way around the bases. What a tremendous swing and execution by both the batter and the base runner for this walk-off win. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.